So this is a first little screen capture video uh, on how to see if your DSC test message from your boat radio on HF or MF uh, succeeded in reaching some other stations. So you send a test message and maybe you don't get an acknowledgement. Did it get out at all? Okay, so YADnet is your friend. Um, so if you search in your search engine for YADnet with two Ds, YADnet stands for yet another DSC decoder. Uh, this is a program that runs on Windows. Um, lots of volunteers all around the world run this software connected to a radio and they're logged to this website. So this is the interface to the website. So for this purposes we'll go down to other functions there and uh, usually we would search the current database which is recent calls uh, because we presumably we've just sent our DSC test message. Uh, I'm going to search the archive which will take longer and in this case the archive is uh, traffic that was received before the 30th of October 2017. So I click on search the ar archive. Now I'm going to look for stations that sent traffic to or from my own MMSI. So this is the MMSI number of my own boat, TUI. And um, the main thing is we have to click this button here that says one station. So it's only from and to that station. You can go to or you can go from and you can search in a, a variety of other uh, different ways to do it. Um, but uh, I'm going to go just to or from my own MMSI. And I click on the search button. It will actually take a, a few seconds or minutes because it is searching a rather large database. Um, so it's actually quicker if you're just searching for um, more recent calls. Um, of course, you can, um, you can search by a range of dates as well up here if you want. You can also search only on specific frequencies. Um, so we just wait for it to come back to us. Okay, so now it's got the results. Um, so uh, first up was a call in October uh, in the evening on 84145. So in fact, I sent a message to um, a ship called Tango uh, in the USA, but um, well, the propagation wasn't good. I was probably in harbor anyway, but this says that the, the um, message was picked up by this station, which I can tell be, by the ham call sign used here that that is in fact um, in Austria. A lot of these other messages are to and from uh, TUI sending test messages. Uh, of course, uh, under GM DSS rules, you should test your um, DSC equipment once a month to a coast station. In this case, the uh, coast stations, the uh, British Coast Guard, only monitor MF 2187.5. They don't have any HF capability at the moment. So I'll be sending a message to um, one of the Coast Guard MMSI numbers. So in this case, I was sending it from, uh, from me, that's the from column, to Humber Coast Guard. In fact, the MMSI numbers for the Coast Guard are probably picked up by any of the stations so so perhaps the specific MMSI is not so important um, but this was logged by two different stations so they heard me and in fact in this case Humber Coast Guard or, or one of the Coast Guard stations picked it up um, so I actually was in the River Humber Humber Coast Guards just a few miles across the the river um, so uh, n no difficulty for ground wave propagation with MF. So here from the Coast Guard station to back to me they were sending um, 
uh, an acknowledgement message. Uh, over here we see that in this column, uh, the first mess was a request of a test and the return was an acknowledge, ACK signal. So, um, so we see those picked up and again picked up by several different stations. Uh, the, the, you can't always tell exactly where the stations are just from this. Clearly that's in Dorset in England. Um, Sometimes they give a ham call sign, and if you're a radio amateur, you'll know how to look that up. Um, but some of them are, are listed as a geographical location in some way. So, um, uh, had I not got the acknowledgement, in, in the sense, uh, it, for example, when I sent to um, uh, Shipcom WLO or to uh, the Yacht Tango, we see that, um, nevertheless, my signal was getting a reasonable distance. And that's my um, that's the end of my first little taste of how to use Yavnet to um, see if your DSC test messages are getting out there at all.